Welcome to my recap. Here, we learn that Yuya is selected to play ping pong for the ball sports competition. A limousine awaits Yuya after school, and a man introduces him mentioning that he is from the entertainment industry, and his director appears asking him to join them but Yuya politely declines, valuing his high school life. The director is shocked and expresses her disbelief at a teenager rejecting such an offer. Mio enters the scene, flashing her thing, I meant the glasses. She asks the director not to make him hard, sorry, I meant she asks not to be hard on him. Yuya's friends are surprised to learn that he appeared in the magazine with the hottest model. Suddenly, the director spots a flyer for a ball sports competition and devises a plan. She intends to disguise as members of press and use the academy competition as cover to take Yuya's photos without his consent, and drags down his assistant to meet the chairman. Deep in the forest, night casts a waterfall spell, and Yuya strikes down a skeleton. Despite his training, he feels unsatisfied with his ability to switch between physical and magical attacks. Determined to get stronger, Yuya decides to venture deeper into the forest. As they walk, he notices the big black things, I meant the hard black trees, and sees unusually large Akatsuki, wondering when did he get leveled up so quickly. But his observation is cut short when it attacks him, he learns that it's a level 10 mithril boar, and it continues attacking him relentlessly. Just as the boar charges for a final blow, a voice offers assistance, and a white rabbit appears, dispersing a magical wave that destroys the black trees along with the boar. Yuya learns that it is a level 4 kick rabbit, and it tells them to show them their kicks. Akatsuki goes first but the rabbit is disappointed, and says, there's less hope there than me reaching a thousand subs. He senses some potential in Knight's kick, and when Yuya shows his kick, he's impressed mentioning that he has talent. He demonstrates his powerful kick technique, and offers to teach him. After extensive training, Yuya successfully takes down a tree with the force of his kick. The rabbit reveals its purpose, it has chosen Yuya as its successor, a divine, to protect innocent lives from malicious beings known as vials. But who's gonna take a rabbit drinking carrot mocktail seriously, so, he rejects the offer of becoming a divine but expresses his desire to protect the people he's met in this world. Impressed by his determination, the rabbit agrees to train Yuya further on the condition that he teaches him magic along the way. The rabbit tells him that the barrier which Yuya has around his house is created in such a way that no one with bad intention can enter his house, seeing how Yuya has able to create a powerful magic he urges Yuya to train under him, while Yuya thinks to himself that he just inherited it from the sage. Yuya accepts the offer, and they become each other's master. In the deep forest, Yuya trains by fighting a level 3 king mithril boar, and defeats it using his spear. Knight and Akatsuki congratulate him, and Yuya notices SS rank items dropped by the defeated creature. However, the rabbit reveals that even more powerful items exist, including triple S rank and legend rank. Suddenly, a notification appears about his increase in level, and the rabbit explains that Yuya will evolve giving him more cheat skills, and also it wouldn't affect his appearance. After that the rabbit decide to call it for the day and hops away. At school, as the ball competition approaches, the director presents Yuya with a special challenge. A formidable opponent, known by the nickname Point Sniper, takes the stage. The sniper showcase his serve impressing the audience, but Yuya believes that his speed is no match compared to the monsters he has faced from the other world. During the second serve Yuya focuses, and hits it back but it was so powerful that he put a hole in the board. Yuya withdraws from the match, so as to avoid causing any injuries to other. We then see Kaide running up to Yuya with her huge assets, and drags him down to play volleyball, and he agrees to give his best. The director redirects the crew to the volleyball arena. The match begins, but soon everyone is shocked as Yuya destroys the court with his smash, while the photographers are focusing their clicks on covering Kaide's huge assets. The opponent team withdraws, and Yuya and his team continues to dominate matches. 
Meanwhile, the director is angry at her photographers as the camera is full of Kaide's assets but the only assets she cares about are Yuya's. We then hear a man screams, and Kaori comes to Yuya, pleading to take her teammate's spot. As the man is carried out he warns Yuya to watch out for the serve. As the match unfolds, Kaori starts the serve, and it seems she's out there to kill someone as she keeps throwing away her racket during the serve, and Yuya realizes the server he should truly be cautious of is actually Kaori. Looks like even though Yuya has the cheat skill, Kaori is way more destructive. Yuya then counters the opponent's attacks by himself, evening covering for Kaori's misses, and secures their victory. The director also gets some good coverage of Yuya's asset this time. Afterwards, Kaori approaches Yuya and expresses gratitude. She asks him to close his eyes and gives him a kiss, but I guess Yuya was mesmerized by her fragrance and didn't realize what she did. In the forest at night, the rabbit uses magic to fend off the mysterious girl who possesses the power of vial. Surprised by the rabbit's abilities, the girl discovers that the rabbit is still a student under Yuya's guidance, and revises its target to eliminate Yuya first. The rabbit acknowledges the creature's power and vows to teach Yuya everything before his life is endangered. This is where the video ends. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.